Hello people, welcome to Creative. In today's session also we are going to discuss some of the TCS and QT numerical ability questions and I have included previous session links in description. If you haven't watched, please have a look at it. Now, question number one. If 7 power x into 5 power y equal to 245 into 875, find the value of x power 2y minus 2x. So we know answer purely lies in factoring the numbers, right? So if it is 245 into 875, definitely it is made up 7 and 5 only. For that you have to factorize these numbers. So how we can write 245? We can write it as 5 into, okay. So it is 4 times and yeah, 9 times. So 49 can be written as 7 into 7. So you have 1, 5 and 2, 7s in 245. And 875 can be written as 5 into 1 times 8, 1 times 5 carry 3 it is 7 times and it is carry to 5 times so you can write 175 as 5 into 35 so 35 can be written as 7 into 5 so you have how many fives here 1 2 3 4 fives right so we can write it as 5 power 4 and how many sevens we have 1 2 3 sevens so it is 7 power 3 so 7 power x into 5 power y this is nothing but 7 power 3 into 5 power 4 so instead of x we have 3 and for y we have 4 now we can put these values in this structure we will get the answer so x is nothing but 3 so 3 power 2 into y is 4 minus 2 into x is 3 so solve it so 3 into 2 into 4 is 8 minus 2 into 3 is 6 that is 3 power 2 so what is 3 power 2 it's 9. So answer for this question is 9. Hope you understood the problem. Now moving to next question. A man who has to walk 14 km finds that in 30 minutes he has traveled 28.57 percentage of the remaining distance. What is his speed in kilometer per hour? So he totally walked 14 kilometers and he found in last 30 minutes he covered 28.57 percentage of the total distance. Now you have to find his speed in kilometer per hour. So the total distance is 14 kilometers. In last 30 minutes, he covered a 28.57 percentage of the remaining distance. And this happened in last 30 minutes, right? Now what is 28.57%? That is 2 by 7. So 2 by 7 into total distance is 14. So 2 7 that 14 kilometers is 2 into 2 4 kilometers. So in last 30 minutes he covered that 4 kilometers. So in 30 minutes if he could cover 4 kilometers, what is his speed? Speed equal to distance by time. Right. Or we can write 30 kilometers. I mean in 30 minutes if he can cover 4 kilometers. In 60 minutes he will cover 8 kilometers. Right. So 60 minutes is 1 hour. So in one hour, if we could cover eight kilometers, then his speed is eight kilometer per hour. This becomes the answer, right? So answer for this question is eight kilometer per hour. Hope you understood the problem. Now moving to next question. A cylinder of radius six centimeter takes seven turns about its axis and thereby covers a distance which is seven pi times its length. What is area of the curved surface in square centimeter of the cylinder? See, definitely in TCS and QT, at least you can expect one question from the topic mensuration. That is purely from this cylinder. So for this, you have to understand the properties of cylinder first. Right? Okay. Now, if you take cylinder, its area is pi r square h. And its curved surface area is 2 pi r h. Now, what is given in the question? Cylinder of radius 6 centimeter. So the radius of the cylinder is 6 cm and it takes 7 turns about its axis. So it is rotating for 7 times, right? So it is rounding for, revolving for 7 times on one of its axis and it covers a distance of 7 pi times its length. So if you keep length of the cylinder is L, then it will cover 7 pi times the length. 7 pi times the length. Okay, with this you can easily find length of the cylinder. How we can find? Okay, now we know circumference of this circle, right? So this is actually the circle, right? So the circumference of circle is nothing but the single rotation, right? So what is circumference of the circle? It is 2 pi r. So the radius is 6 centimeter. 
2 into pi into 6. Okay. Now it is rotating for 7 times, right? So it rotates for 7 times. So it is covering 7 times the length. So we can say 2 into pi into 6 and it is rotating for 7 times. So if it rotate for 7 times, that will be equivalent to 7 pi times its length, right? So 7 pi times the length. So if you cancel it, 7, 7, 5, pi get cancelled. So length is 2 into 6, 12 centimeter. So with this, we found length of this uh, cylinder is 12 centimeter. So with this, you can find curved surface area, right? So instead of length, you can write 12 centimeter. What is curved surface area of the cylinder? It is 2 pi r h, right? So it is 2 pi r h. So 2 into, we can keep that pi as it is, radius is 6 centimeter and height is 12 centimeter. So 12 into 6, 72, 72 into 2 is 144. So 144 pi is nothing but the curved surface area of the cylinder. This becomes our answer. So to solve this question in fraction of seconds, definitely you should understand the properties of right, right circular cylinder first, right? Okay, we shall discuss one more problem related to right circular cylinder. So what is the diameter of the solid right circular cylinder whose height is 6 cm and the area of the curved surface is 6 times the combined area of the two flat surfaces? Okay, so imagine a right circular cylinder. So you have a cylinder. Now, actually you have to find its diameter. So what is given height is 6 cm. So height of the cylinder is 6 cm and you have a hint area of the curved surface is 6 times the combined area of the two flat surfaces. So curved surface area of the cylinder is equivalent to 6 times the combined area of the two flat surfaces. So this is the flat surfaces, right? On top you have a flat surface and on bottom also you have one more flat surface. So this is equivalent to 6 times the combined area of the two flat surfaces. Now, if you take the flat surfaces, this is in the format of a circle, right? So, what is area of the circle? Pi r square. So, you have how many pi r square? 2 pi r square, right? So, on top, 1 pi r square and bottom, another pi r square. So, it is 6 times 2 pi r square. We know curved surface area is 2 pi r h. So, this 2 pi r h is equivalent to 6 times 2 pi r square. So you can cancel 2 pi and 2 pi and radius and radius can be cancelled. So you can write height is equal to 6 times the radius, right? So height is equal to 6 times the radius. Now we know height is 6 centimeter. Then what will be the radius? So 6, 6 cancel. So we can say radius is 1 centimeter. What exactly you want to find is diameter of the solid right circular cylinder. So if radius is 1 centimeter, diameter will be 2 times the radius, right? So diameter equal to 2 into 1. That is 2 centimeter. This is your answer. For this, you have to understand the properties of right circular cylinder. Right? We go to next question now. Yes. So, Jenita purchased two laptops of same brand and configuration and sold them respectively at 0 0.9 and 1.2 times their cost prices. What was the percentage gain earned or loss incurred for her? Okay, imagine she purchased two laptops for same price, right? That is same brand and same configuration. It means both are same price, right? So we can imagine the cost price of first laptop is 100 rupees and second one is also 100 rupees and sold them at 0 0.9 and 1.2 times their cost prices respectively. So the first laptop she is selling at 0 0.9 times. So what is 0 0.9 times of 100? So 0 0.9 into 100 is 90. And second laptop C is selling for 1.2 times its cost price. So 1.2 times of 100 is 1.2 into 100, it is 120. So C purchased both the laptops for 200 and sold both the laptops for 90 plus 120, 210 rupees. Now C gained how many rupees? 10 rupees. So this 10 rupees is the gain C got from this 200 rupees cost price. So this 10 rupees is how many percentage of 200? It's 5%. So we can say C gained 5% profit in the transaction. So this becomes our answer. Hope you understood. We shall go to next question. Yeah. So question seems to be a little complex, but it's very simple, right? So the table below presents the percentage marks obtained by three students X, Y, and Z in four components of assessment A, B, C, D of a paper whose respective weightages are 4, 3, 2, 1. So in this heading, we have some unnecessary information also. We don't want to bother about that. So we have some uh, information in the table. Now look at the question. What is the ratio of 
average percentage of x in a and b to that of y is a combined in cd okay now you have to find average percent so actually this is percentage marks only all are percentage marks right so you don't want to find any percentage so what you have to find is only average so for x you have to find average of a and b so it is 78 plus 85 by 2 because you have two values now for y and z you have to find the combined average of cd right so for y and z you have to find the combined average of cd so it is 73 plus 75 plus 81 plus 64 divided by 4 so when you add 78 with 85 you get 163 divided by 2 so when you add this this is 140 140 uh, plus 60 200 280 280 plus 280 290 293 by 4 so to cancel this denominator we can multiply this by 2 as well as the denominator by 2 so what you get 326 by 4 is to 293 by 4 and 4 4 get cancelled so you are left with only 326 is to 293 so this becomes our answer right so this kind of questions are quite common in tcs right so the questions look appears very big but if you look at the concept it's very easy right so you have to do some some simplification operations like addition subtraction right so it's very simple we shall go to next question now yes so a sum of rupees 12500 is invested on 1st january 2016 at four percent simple interest per annum how much interest in rupees gets accrued on the end of the day on 1st january 2016 so you invested on 1st january and you have to find the interest till 1st july 2016 so totally how many months completed jan feb march april may june so totally six months completed so we can tell that six months is half an year right so the six month is half an year so time is half year now you have to find simple interest right so it's very simple we know simple interest is pnr by 100 so principal is 12500 and number of years is half an year and rate of interest is 4 upon 100 so if you cancel this 0 0 get cancelled so it is 125 into 2 you get 250 so this is your simple interest for that six months hope you understood we shall go to next question the diameter of a pizza is 30 centimeter what is the area in centimeter square of the upper surface area of the sector of the pizza whose arc length is 8 centimeter see you can solve this problem using two ways so you can use uh, uh, these sector area formula or we can use uh, shortcut method so we go with shortcut method it's very simple so imagine it's the cake and its diameter is 30 centimeter so the radius is 15 centimeter right okay now what is area of the upper surface area of the sector of the pizza whose arc length is 8 centimeter okay now assume you cut the cake like this so this is arc length it's 8 centimeter this is 8 centimeter now you have to find area of the sector okay now if you take the whole cake what is circumference of the whole cake it is 2 pi r right so 2 pi r is circumference of the whole cake when the circumference is 2 pi r its area is pi r square right when the circumference is 2 pi r its area is pi r square now if you look at this uh, what picture the radius is 15 so instead of r you can substitute 15 and its area is pi into radius is 15 into 15 right so when the total circumference is 2 pi 15 its total area is pi 15 square now actually you have to find this sector right so the shaded region now what is circumference of the shaded region it is only 8 centimeter right so when it is 8 centimeter what is its area right so cross multiply you get the answer so if you cross multiply you get question mark equal to pi into 15 into 15 upon 2 into pi into 15 into 8 so we can cancel pi 15 pi 15 and this 2 and 4 times 15 into 4 you get 60 so 60 centimeter square is nothing but area of the sector this becomes our answer so what we are doing we are equating area with area right i mean we are equating circumference with area 
So when the circumference is 2 pi r, uh, that will be equivalent to pi r square. So the area is pi r square. So when the sector circumference is 8, what is the area? So it is 60 centimeters square. This is our answer. Hope you understood how to solve this problem. So that's it for today's session. In upcoming session, I will add some more TCS uh, NQT numerical ability questions. Until that, stay connected with CareerDeed. And if you are preparing for TCS NQT, wish you all the very best to crack your TC TCS examination. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.